vegetation will follow the Colorado River pulse flow through the Delta region, starting at Morelos Dam on the U.S.-Mexico border where the pulse flow began. We will then travel to the Miguel Alemán Restoration Site, the Mexican town of San Luis Rio, Colorado, and the Laguna Grande Restoration Site. We will pay a visit to the Cucapá tribe on the Hardy River and end our tour in El Golfo de Santa Clara, a fishing town near the mouth of the river. On March 23, 2014, the gates at Morelos Dam were opened to release a temporary pulse flow of water into the dry delta in hopes of restoring some of the natural bounty the river once provided. Here, federal officials, water agency representatives, and conservation leaders from both nations gathered to witness this historic event. In a matter of days, a river had formed. This photo was taken exactly one week after the pulse flow began. Not far from Morelos Dam is the Miguel Aleman Restoration Site. Here, trees are being planted to restore the riparian corridor along the river channel. Restoration workers say the pulse flow is very exciting for them as it will bring water to the cottonwood and willow trees that they have been planting along the river. The nearby town of San Luis Rio, Colorado was named after the river, but water has not flowed under the bridge here for many years. Here is Jennifer Pitt at the leading edge of the river near San Luis. As more water flowed under the bridge here, crowds gathered to see, swim, and celebrate the river flowing in its delta. Children splashed about. Some even fished. Everyone was happy to see the river following its natural course. In just a matter of days, the river reached the Laguna Grande Restoration Site, another tree planting project to restore the lost forest. Thomas Rivas is a biologist for Sonoran Institute who expects that several bird species, including endangered species, will return to this place. Some already have. The Kukapa tribe lives on the banks of the Hardy River, a tributary of the Colorado. Kukapa means river people, and the tribe has a rich culture and identity based on the river. Several tribe members used to fish in the delta before it went dry. Doña Innocencia remembers the last time she fished in the 80s. Now, in her old age, she makes jewelry and teaches the tribal language and culture to younger Kukapa. Many miles southeast of the Kukapa is El Golfo de Santa Clara, a fishing town near the mouth of the river. Carlos Alberto Nino Torres is a leader in the local fishing community. He said he is pleased to see the United States and Mexico working together to bring the river back to the sea. The Colorado River Pulse Flow is a historic event in the global context. As Jennifer Pitt put it, it's almost like we conjured a river back into being. As you can see in these two satellite photos, that is exactly what happened.